I could rest assured that no one was going to be asking for one of my smokes in exchange for their cooperation. My reaction was one of surprise. Surprise at my complete lack of shock or repulsion. Only on one occasion before this had I seen a dead body. I guess when that first encounter is with your own family as they lie in mortuary slabs, getting upset over a stranger becomes a little difficult, regardless of the circumstances. Larry Hazard. This was the man I was being paid to track down. Seems that he'd found out something that someone preferred he hadn't. The cat had had its revenge on curiosity, served up and force fed, ice cold. It meant that Larry Hazard wasn't going to be helpful to anyone now nor was his sister going to be too pleased to hear about his present condition, but at least I could provide solutions to the questions I was being paid to answer. Besides, the job was like a game of poker, where you suspect the cards have been withheld from the deck. The outcome is clear from the onset. It's smart to get all clean and intact before someone decides to up the ante. I'd never been one to listen to advice, even if it was my own. Get to my shooting your diet. Ah, that's a big socket. The man holding the gun isn't really just speaking first. I wouldn't. You guys should really get some cleaners in here to take care of the corpse lying upstairs. Unless, of course, you are the cleaners. Hey, Chief, take it easy, yeah? We do as you ask 100%. No funny stuff. Larry Hazard, you work. What happened? Find out about your candy factory? Sorry, Chief. Don't speak so good English. Lars, find a fake die the killist. He think in das and the totem reporter find it. Who, who is Larry Hazard? He's the guy that got hurt playing with the sharp objects and stuffed toys. Not very efficient of you to leave him lying like that. Oh, that is so intensive. I suggest you step back, unless you want to be snoring coke directly through a hole in your skull. I just want the info, then I'll be back on out of here. Fair square. 
Okay, okay, we tell you, yeah? No. I have to admit though, I never expected to see you. Innocent, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> Presumably, you would need hands to do this. So I find it unlikely that you will because I'm about to cut off all your fingers. <laughs> Why? Why fucking what? Why did you have to kill them? <laughs> uh, see. You a smoke attacks, man. Well, that you are. Don't mind if I. It should be clear to you that you're not in a position to ask questions about the dead. You will answer my questions, and it's for this reason, this reason alone, that you remain alive. How did you find this place? How did you find this place? destination where the tourists are welcome. Let me tell you something about intelligence tourists. I choose. See, I believe that your capacity for learning is determined at birth. It's genetic. No matter how much education you receive, how many books you read, Come to stage in your life, you level off. You can't get any smarter. For you to ever think you could bring me down, even in a court of law, that suggests to me that you, you were an early leveler. And I consider it a favor to humanity that I prevented you passing this on to another generation. It's like swimming out to sea. There comes a point where you can't go any further and you can't go back. All you can do is sink. You, you've been sinking for a long time, tax man. That cigarette you took, you can't pay for the free advice. I want you to take your time when cutting off his fingers and make him tell you how he found this place and whatever he knows about Larry Hazard before you kill him. And make sure not even the worms can find his body. My question, why can you kill me instead of them? <laughs> Some lives I choose to end, others I choose to wreck. Isn't that the same thing? You, of all people, should be able to that question yourself. Eller, you said, remember this face. I want you to know it is an image I have never forgotten. It reminds me that I have nothing left worth living for, except to make sure that no one else should ever have to see that face again. 
I want you right now to remember my face. Look at it and realize how serious I am when I say that I am going to kill you. Well, they do say being too serious leads to a premature death. Get out with his fingers. Cut off his nose as well. felt like some organ failure case who just missed a number being called in lottery for a lung transplant due to a slow running wristwatch. When that one opportunity that would allow you to die satisfied and willing to be buried with your mistakes suddenly slaps you in the face, the reality is that you're never prepared to chase it. Having time enough for things had never been an issue before, but now I would break apart the clock into a thousand pieces just to find as many hours as it would take to kill innocent 